find the efficiency of diesel engine having cylinder with both 250 mm and stroke 370 mm and a clearance volume of 1000 cc with fuel cut off of occurring at 5% of the stroke assume gamma is equal to 1.4 for air Let us understand given data with the help of pressure volume diagram of the diesel cycle. Bore diameter small d is given 250 mm. So we will show here its a notation small d. Stroke is given 370 mm. So stroke is L. Clearance volume. So it is Vc. It is 1000 cc. So cc that means centimeter cube. So we will show here cc that means centimeter cube then cut off is 5 percent of the stroke so how to show the cut off so here processes are 1 2 3 4 to 1 so during these processes cut off is v3 minus v2 so this cut off is 5 percent of the stroke so we can say that v3 minus v2 is equal to 5 by 100 that is 0 0.05 of stroke that means it is v3 volume so we will show here stroke volume vs then gamma is equal to 1.4 and we have to find out the air standard efficiency of the cycle now for the diesel cycle to calculate the standard efficiency we require two parameters first parameter is compression ratio r and second parameter is rc here this is known as the cut off ratio so how to find out this r as well as rc so to find out r we have to calculate first vs that is the stroke volume now if we observe the data then bore diameter and stroke is given and if we observe the clearance volume is given with unit centimeter cube so we have to convert this millimeter into centimeter so bore diameter is equal to 25 centimeter and stroke is equal to 37 centimeter now this parameters we will use to calculate stroke volume vs so it's a formula is pi by 4 d square l where vs is known as swept volume where d is the bore diameter and l is the length of the piston cylinder arrangement so we will put the value and then we will calculate here 18162.3 cc now how to calculate r so compression ratio r is equal to 1 plus vs by vc now vs and vc is having same units that is centimeter cube so we will use the data and r is equal to 19 so if we observe r is equal to 1 plus vs by vc so if we put r is equal to 19 then we will get 19 is equal to 1 plus vs by vc and therefore vs by vc is equal to 18 so this is the relation in between vs and vc so we can say that vs is equal to 18 vc so this is the relation we get in between swept volume and clearance volume now we will move to the next we have to find out the cut off ratio so how to find out so cut off ratio is v3 by v2 now we have relation v3 minus v2 is equal to 0 0.05 vs so this is the relation from the given data now what is vc so if we observe this diagram volume at point 2 that is v2 is known as vc so we will put here vc so v3 minus vc is equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by now we will put the value of vs in terms of vc that is 18 vc now when we solve then we will get v3 is equal to 1.9 vc so this is the relation so rc is equal to v3 by v2 
सो वी थ्री इज वन पॉइंट नाइन वी सी एंड वी टू इज वी सी सो दिस वी सी वी सी इज गेटिंग कैंसल एंड कट ऑफ रेशो इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट नाइन तो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टू पैरामीटर्स आर इज इक्वल टू नाइनटीन आर सी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट नाइन वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एयर स्टैंडर्ड इफिशियंसी ऑफ द डीजेल साइकिल Now we will calculate efficiency. It's a formula is one minus one divided by R raised to gamma minus one, R C raised to gamma minus one divided by gamma in the bracket R C minus one. So we will put the value. So one minus one divided by R is nineteen raised to gamma minus one. That is one point four minus one zero point four, one point nine raised to gamma. That is one point nine raised to one point four minus one divided by gamma one point four in the bracket one point nine minus one. So we have to first solve this denominator. So nineteen raised to zero point four is three point twenty four. Then we have to solve this one point nine raised to one point four. And then we have to subtract one, so it is one point forty five. And then we have to solve first this bracket, zero point nine multiplied by one point four. Now it is easy to solve this, so we will first solve this multiplication term, and then we will subtract from the one. So its answer is zero point thirty five. So one minus zero point thirty five. So it is zero point sixty four, and Efficiency is always in percentage, so we will multiply here with hundred, so we will get here sixty-four percent. 